Well, guys, it may have been voted down, but the idea is not dead. The company is still looking for investors for a Sunset Amphitheater here in OKC. I think we see you and, and you all got the buttons in the shirts, but raise your hand if you are here to protest this, this PUD. Okay. <laughs> That was at the OKC City Council meeting in April, when locals on the west side of the city near Yukon showed up to protest the Sunset Amphitheater. Originally, it was planned near Sarah Road and I-40. It's going to be rattling everything, and we're very concerned, and we don't want this here. It already is a delay with traffic. Can you imagine 12,500 people? trying to get in on the two-lane road. But the idea isn't gone. It's just under new management, sort of. The company, called Venue, formerly known as Notes Live, has the Sunset Amphitheater plans available on their website, and it shows there have been some interested parties. The company's website still has the original 12,500 person capacity and details plans that include fire pit suites along with upper and lower bowl seating. We reached out to Venue after business hours tonight but did not hear back. But they do have a statement online saying OKC is a great place for a venue like this. It says in part, quote, Our driving purpose is to create a world-class outdoor music amphitheater that will rival iconic venues like Red Rocks Amphitheater in Morrison, Colorado, and Toyota Music Factory in DFW as one of the most desirable venues in the world. Now, what we have not heard yet is a new location for this proposed amphitheater. City Council has not said if there's another site in discussion. In OKC, Jason Berger, KOCO 5 News.